Hey guys, how's it going? This is Matt again from iOS Betas, and today here I'm going to show you a quick video on a problem that a lot of people have been having. It's nothing you're doing, it's nothing I'm doing, it's something wrong with the Apple registration servers. And I'm going to show you here to probably give you a fix to your problem. So what it is, is people have been getting their UDIDs registered, they go to install iOS 6 after they've downloaded it, and they're faced with a problem of not being able to actually register through the servers. Whether it says that you have not been yet registered, or it's saying that it's unable to activate you, or whatever it may be. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but there's going to be some kinks right now. Usually there is in the first couple days, and I feel Apple will get them worked out soon. But in the meantime, here's how you can do it. So as you see, I have my iPad over here, and I've been trying to register it. But every time I go, I get this error message, and it reads basically that I could not get activated through the servers, it's unable to work, and I click try again as much as I want, and still nothing works. So what you're going to do then is you're going to have to basically put your iPad, iPhone, iPod back into DFU mode, and then restore it to 5.0, and then upgrade it back to 6.0. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's not much that you have to watch over. It can be done in the background, and this usually solves most problems, especially for people who need instant access back to their iPhone or their iPad or whatever it may be. This will get you back to 5.1.1, and you can start using it right away, and then upgrade when you have more time um, and are ready to wait in case something goes wrong. So, we're going to start by putting it into DFU mode, and this is the same on all devices. You're going to have to take the top button and the power button, and you're going to hold them down for 10 seconds. Now, after 10 seconds, you're going to release the top button and keep holding down the home button until a message pops up in iTunes. Like so. All right, here it is. It says your iTunes is detected in iPad in recovery mode. You can restore its iPad before it can be used with iTunes. Now, at this point, we have two options. We can click straight up restore, which is going to take us back to the default iPad firmware, which is 5.1.1. Um, or you can choose, again, with option or shift, to put the beta back onto your iPad. If you want to reinstall the beta, I've heard this also works sometimes if you have to do it once or twice. It doesn't take too long, but if you want to, you go shift on a window or option on a Mac, restore, find the beta and install it again. What we're going to do though is downgrade back to 5.1.1. This is also, again, how you downgrade your iPad. Many people have been asking, hey, I want to downgrade back. I don't like the beta or it's too buggy or whatever it may be. This is how you can get downgraded back. This works and um, any time during the beta. Again, what you're going to lose if you've been running uh, 6.0 is anything or data that you've collected from the time you've had iOS 6. So for example, if you were to install iOS 6 today, and then in three weeks from now, you decide you wanna switch back to 5.1.1, well then you will lose all of the data in that three weeks. So any contacts you've added, any apps you've gained, any things you've played, you will lose those um, and you'll only get the data up until the point when you first installed iOS 6. So it's a little bit of a bummer there, but that's why I advise most people not to switch back. Again, it's not too buggy this year, but some people have been asking. So this is how also you downgrade if you want to. I just suggest putting your device in DFU mode, even if you are registered, even you can use your phone. Again, put it in DFU mode all the time. It's just the easiest way to do it and it will make it happen the quickest. Again, that's hold down the top and power button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, release, or sorry, the top and home button. Release the top button, continue holding the home button until the message pops up in iTunes, and also be sure that you are connected um, via USB into your computer and that your iPad is recognized in iTunes. So we're gonna go ahead and restore to 5.1.1. We'll click restore and update. And it's going to start, it's going to, if you already have 5.1.1 on your computer just from in the past, it'll just start extracting the software. However, if you have never downloaded it before, it will start downloading it officially from Apple right on the side here. It'll just pick the song and it'll start automatically taking it right into your account or right down to your computer. It may take a little while to download, but you'll see iPad software 5.1.1. Depending on if you've installed it or not, you may have to wait for that. It's going to prepare your iPad to restore, verify it with Apple, yada yada. And then we're going to go ahead and just wait for this to finish up. As you see on your iPad, it's going to give you the Apple logo. And you are going to just be 
waiting. Now, in this meantime, while we're waiting for this, I'll talk about a problem a lot of people have been having, again, kind of addressing the situation. So as you know, if you've received an email from me with UDID confirmation on it, um, that means you are officially registered. Don't think I didn't register you or anything that if you get the email saying you're registered, install instructions, I have registered your UDID, it's in the developer portal, and you are allowed to install the beta. However, a lot of people, I don't know why, it's a weird problem that we've been getting this here, a lot of people have not been able to successfully install the beta. It's saying you actually are not registered and your device is not um, part of the developer program, but it is. I've checked UDIDs, people send me them again. I go and look in the portal and they're there, so I don't know what's going on. Again, this is on Apple, this is not on me. It's really weird. It's the first year I've seen this. I don't know if it's because of the huge flurry of people who are trying to install the beta or it's just whatever it may be. Hopefully it gets sorted out soon. The solution to this that I found is the best thing is, again, do what I'm doing here and restore your iPad to 5.1.1 and then try and go back and install it again. Um, if you are really, really unsuccessful, uh, come talk to me personally but first I would try this this is the number one solution I had the exact same problem personally me on my iPhone I was registered with my developer account I was one of the first ones in there I did it right when iOS 6 was out tried to put it on my iPhone and I got unable to register about five times in a row I just restored to 5.1 went back to 6 5.1 back to 6 and then eventually it would just was able to crack. What I would do is try unplugging your phone, plugging it back in, you know, all these different things, and eventually it bypasses. Again, it's kind of a hit and miss when it happens and when it doesn't happen. So again, that's the solution right now. If I find a definite worked out solution, I will make a video on that as soon as I can. No questions asked, but that's the problem right now. As for downloads go, um, I know IMZDL is also slacking this year. Yes, it's a hectic year because iOS 6 is a big demand. Anyways, IMZDL is a little wishy-washy on the downloads. I am personally working right now on downloading all of the iOS 6 firmwares and then going to upload them to my own site or my own files personally for customers of iosbetas.com. There'll be quick links, there'll be snappy downloads, no broken links, direct downloads, no torrents you'll have to deal with. That is my hope that I can do that as of right now. Um, I mean, I'm hoping the app goes up either today or tomorrow. And once you have beta one on your iPad, all the other betas come through as an OTA update, over the air update. So there's not much else to worry about. Um, usually the first one's the hardest. After that, everything can be done right on your device within minutes of them releasing beta two, beta three, and whatnot. So again, beta one is the hardest one. If you still are unable to download it, again, I'm gonna work hard to get this all sorted out and we'll keep working here. Thanks everyone for being so patient with all this. I know that it's been just an insanely, insanely hectic ride. Um, if you're activated and you're all set to go, thank you for doing that. I hope you're enjoying iOS 6. If not, hang tight. I'm getting new accounts. I'm downloading everything. We're working through the kinks. This is uh, a huge year. Business is booming. It's awesome. I really appreciate it, everyone who's purchased an activation. So here it is. This is your iPad. You can go ahead and click Setup is New. We'll just uncheck all these. Click Done. And there you go, you see, you're back on 5.1.1. Here's your iPad over here. You can just run through these. Really quick, the, the installation stuff, whatever you wanna do. Type in your whatever, and you're good to go. Just to prove it to you, I'll show you here that I can open up my iPad and start using it.
All right, and there it is. As you can see, there's the iPad. It's restored to a fresh state. You can go over to the right side and click Restore from a Backup. It'll put on your backup of all your old apps if you want to run 5.1.1. Just to prove it to you, see, again, we are on 5.1.1. We're back there. iPad's working. If you are still trying to successfully get 6.0 on, what you're going to have to do is, again, do the option Restore, select the firmware, and try and put it on again. Um, you might have to do that a couple times. That should work out the problems. If you need anything else, contact me, support at iosbetas.com or on Twitter. I reply very fast there, at iosbetas. Uh, I know this is a long video, guys, but I wanted to help out a lot of you who are having trouble and st stay in there. We will get everything figured out. Thanks for watching, and uh, leave any comments below, whatnot. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks. See you guys later.